I've decided I'm going to take out that center pivot, axle pivot pin, so that I can replace the bush there in this cross beam. So at the moment I'm trying to use my trolley jack as a bit of a press. I have it out probably about two mil and it's not going anymore. So what I'm thinking is to cut each side of it and take out the tube, take out the cross beam and then be able to work on a smaller piece of metal each side if I have to hacksaw or something. I should be able to get it get it out that way, but it's coming out. It's in long enough, it's done its job and there's a good bit of wear in there. So, because uh, people never lubricated them. So what I did in the, my Ferguson 20 was I drilled and I put in um, a grease nipple, tapped and put in a grease nipple so it can be grease, greased. So look, I'm going to give up on the press here because it's not working. The baiting with the sledgehammer isn't working and um, I've just soaked it in oil. It's not even getting through one side, so I think it's a matter of cutting cutting it out and uh, tapping each end out, hopefully a bit easier. So I managed to cut out the cross beam with an angle grinder. And what I'm left with is one bit of the center pivot pin that's nearly tapping out. And this bit here and this bit does not want to go down this way so i'm going to have to maybe turn it around the other way and do what i'm doing here so this was quite a quite uh, a challenge i've had to use the sledge so but it is coming so I'm nearly there after a serious amount of persuading i'm starting to move so what I did was I fitted that in there and of course the, the threaded part of the bolt does help keep it centralised so now I can take out that bolt finally starting to move God the sledgehammer had to be resorted to the lump hammer wasn't strong enough anyway it was a challenge I wanted to, to undertake and it's been in there long enough and I want to fit a new one, so out with this and I'll start cleaning them areas up. <laughs> 